Well, that was embarrassing, but I'm fine, okay? Let's get the show started. Hi, my name is Ken Gogol, and welcome back. Now, in this video, I want to share with you a communication concept that actually don't involve using words. We call it body language or nonverbal communication. Now, I think you all have heard what is body language. It's the body language. In English, we call it nonverbal communication. It's not to use some words or communication. For example, if it's talking about someone who is having trouble, sometimes we will use our fingers, right? Of course, today Ken said he didn't want to teach everyone to use their fingers, but there are some common hand gestures or body language that he wants to share with everyone. For example, this one. See if you understand what I'm trying to say. Ken Gogo, what are you doing? Your eyes have problems. And just like that, I was able to communicate almost to a point where it becomes rude that I'm extremely, extremely disinterested in what someone has to say. I just said my face, I didn't say one word of a sentence, but my body language and my non-verbal communication is a bit unnecessary gesture. I recommend that you don't be a mistake or 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 a mistake. Okay. You might have to go to the next Now, that was only a representation of what body language or gestures are. Today, I really want to show you or basically demonstrate a few hand gestures, body language that we use with our hands. Now, I want you to take a look at the first hand. The other hand is called the bird or flipping someone the bird. Or flipping someone the bird. Bird. The German translation is called the bird or the bird. The different hand gestures are this one. Nope, that's not the one. Now, if you're flipping someone the bird, you're doing this. You're raising your middle finger. Now, I'm not actually going to do this, but you can imagine if I raised just my middle finger. Middle finger flipping someone the bird, or the bird. 或者最簡單嘅説法咧，就係 the finger。嗱，最後尾咧，唔知大家有冇聽過樹中指嘅叫法咧？就係叫做 one finger salute。salute 係解敬禮咁樣意思啊。中文直接嘅翻譯咧就係單指敬禮。講到呢度咧，記住要提大家 subscribe if you like what you see。So let's carry on。Now as a Hong Kong Canadian， this one， this hand gesture。Used to confuse me a lot when I was growing up in Vancouver. Many people take pictures and they will slowly raise their hand. For example, this one. But before raising your hand, for some Americans or Canadians, for some foreigners, they usually raise it as peace. That's right, it's peace. Peace. In fact, this hand gesture is called the peace salute. Now, this hand gesture is called the peace salute. In fact, this hand gesture is called the peace salute. Now, this hand gesture is called the peace salute. Now, this hand gesture is called the peace salute. Now, this hand gesture is called the peace salute. Now, this hand gesture is called the peace salute. The peace sign. 咦，唔係喎，我成世仔都係用 V 係 for victory 啊嘛，勝利同埋慶祝嘅象徵嚟嘅喎，唔係咩 ？Yes, you're right. For some, this can also be the peace sign. Now, whatever you do, don't flip this around. 嗱，就算 V 係 victory 又好 ，peace 都好啦，點樣都好，千祈唔好將佢反轉啊，因為咧反轉咗咧就會有冒犯嘅意思噶啦。And now it's time for our takeaway. Takeaway number one. Now this. Is arguably the world's most well-known hand gesture, and it has several names. It's called the finger, well, the middle finger, flipping someone the bird, or the one-finger salute. And takeaway number two, this one. It can be a simple pose of a hand. For example, V for victory. We see it in pictures. We often do it like this. Or it can be peace, peace. Oh yes, and there's one more thing. You can let me know what you want me to teach in the next video in the comment. Well, that wraps it up for this video. Remember to share, subscribe, and comment. 今日我哋下集同大家再見。